Once again, it used to look like this. Now my back acne looks like this. Okay, the lighting is really bad. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how I went from this to this. So a little backstory, I have always had acne ever since I can remember. I have one right here. I'm on my period, so I'm kind of breaking out. But I had something called Melesthesia folliculitis, which is better known as fungal acne all over my forehead and a little bit on my chin as well. And I also had closed comedones. Now for my back, it was a combination of fungal acne and regular back acne. I also used to have chest acne as well all over my chest. I don't have any anymore but I used to have them on my chest as well it was very itchy and very painful but I can never stop picking at my acne um, or my back knee to get a little white heads out oh my god don't do that please don't do that you're gonna regret it later um, and I'll show you why so I've tried many things in the past to get rid of my back knee I've tried Epsom salt baths that one didn't work for me I've tried tea tree oil that one worked a little bit I've tried lemon sugar scrub that one broke me out I've tried back acne spray I have it right here body acne spray didn't work at all and after many years of trial and error there were only four products that helped me clear out my back acne but I do want to mention that I did that on top of working out regularly having a really healthy diet and drinking lots of water making sure my back and my skin is clean at all times which means I shower every time after I sweat or work out I never wear the same clothes twice or the same bras twice and I never pick at my acne <sighs> That one's really hard, but I never pick on my acne. I'm sorry to say this, but if you're not one of those who are born blessed, I'd say, with naturally flawless skin, you know, people who can actually do whatever they want to their skin and they still have perfect skin. If you're not one of them, you have to suffer. I'm a firm believer in the fact that if your body is healthy on the inside, it will show on the outside. And so a clean diet fuels your body and keeps it healthy, of course, and working out flushes out the toxins and also keeps you healthy and your complexion glowing. So. Yes, no amount of product is going to magically cure your skin if your body is unhealthy. Let that sink in. Swallow it. <clears throat> okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's start with the things I did that actually um, cured my acne. So the first thing I remember doing was drinking liquid chlorophyll. Um, it tastes exactly like how it sounds. Liquid chlorophyll. So it's very green tasting. Imagine just grabbing a handful of grass and just blending it and drinking it like that. It tastes like that. It doesn't taste very good. It tastes like grass. It's a very concentrated solution. I take two tablespoons of that. I just mix it in with a cup of water and just drink it. Um, I take it every day. My facial acne went away in less than a month. I'd say about two to three weeks, it was completely gone. Just an honorary mention for liquid chlorophyll because that did help my face acne. Not so much my back acne, but it did help with my face acne. Um, for my back acne, the first product that actually cured, I want to say like 30 to 40% of my back acne is this one right here. This is called Biopeel. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it, but I think it's called Biopeel. And it's basically a body lotion made in Korea. It's specifically made for curing back acne. My mom knew that I was struggling with my back acne, so she researched a lot. And this is probably one of the best selling ones in Korea. It's basically a very lightweight moisturizer. No fragrance moisturizer that you use every time after a shower. So yeah, I apply a thin layer of this on my back after I take a shower. And I could actually see my back getting clearer in one to two months. But after that, it just sort of plateaued. It cleared up my skin a little bit, um, but it didn't cure my back acne. My guess is that it actually got rid of my regular back acne, but not my fungal acne. If you have regular back acne, I suggest giving this one a try. It's pretty good. So um, fungal acne, that brings me to my second product. Product number two. Um, I don't have it with me, but um, it's Head and Shoulders Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Not just the regular Head and Shoulders Shampoo. It has to be the Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Uh, it sounds pretty stupid, but it works. The Anti-Dandruff Shampoo, it contains an active ingredient called zinc parathion which is actually antifungal and antibacterial um, so it actually helps to kill the yeast fungal infection that you have in your you know on your back so you want to take the shampoo add a little bit of water just kind of lather it up a little bit not too much and then just apply it as a mask on your back and just let it sit for about five minutes before you wash it off you can also use this as a body wash but um, I didn't do that I used a tea tree um, body wash I only use this for my back 
and the one I'm using is from the body shop this one is very mild so it's not part of the full products so I, I'm just showing you guys that, that I use this um, body wash for my back after putting the head and shoulder shampoo mask on your back your skin might be a little bit red but that's completely normal it's fine um, just remember to moisturize always moisturize guys you can use any sort of lightweight oil free moisturizer I also suggest using this as a moisturizer it's really good that or aloe vera the last product that I have is actually homemade it looks like this <laughs> very simple very plain this is actually my mom's homemade little concoction she actually just found the recipe on the internet and then yeah she calls it her own little secret um it smells really good i still use this actually every day so this is basically pure lavender oil 100 percent lavender oil mixed with pure tea tree oil so these are the ones i use these are from thursday plantation and it creates the best healing oil for your skin this oil is absolutely amazing so the tea tree oil is inflammatory and the lavender oil is gonna soothe and moisturize your skin so the combination of both together is amazing and if you're sensitive to tea tree oil this is being diluted with um, the lavender oil so it's actually suitable for sensitive skin as well this oil is also amazing for eczema and strawberry skin my brother has eczema it completely cured his eczema and my ex-boyfriend had strawberry skin he used this it's smoothen out his strawberry skin as well so highly recommended you use this the same way you would use a moisturizer so just spray it onto your hands spray it onto your back after you take a shower use it consistently on top of having a healthy diet and working out regularly and of course let it dry before you put on your clothes so these four products along with a healthy lifestyle all together cleared my back acne but I still had problems because I picked up my acne. Uh, we could have ended the video right here, but no, I had to pick my acne again. So now we have to continue the video. Basically, I had to get rid of hyperpigmentation. So what I did was I actually just did mild exfoliation one to two times a week using either a salt scrub like that, just very lightly doing it. You don't want to over exfoliate because that's going to irritate your skin. So use this or a nice gel exfoliant. And the last thing that I applied to my back to cure my acne scars is rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is one of the best oils for um, getting rid of hyperpigmentation and acne scars i also use that on my face you can also try micro needling i personally haven't tried it but i've got friends who have done it in the past and it's worked really well for them and yeah that is basically how i cured my back acne it didn't happen overnight it took a couple of years once again it used to look like this now my back acne looks like this the picture post on instagram is actually edited so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like um unedited so so this is my back roll and unedited. I like it. I think it's pretty good. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!